Covering the news for Southwest Louisiana, this is News Now at 630. The Louisiana Public Service Commission has formally started its audit investigation of Beauregard Electric Cooperative. Good evening, I'm Devin DeStefano. The PSC has submitted a detailed list of questions to the co-op on a wide range of issues. Teresha Smith brings us the details. The Public Service Commission is asking for information dealing with various issues and activities by directors and employees of Beauregard Electric. The co-op is required to provide sworn responses and documents to the PSC. Among other things, the PSC asks if the Becky Board of Directors has taken any action on the recommendations given in an investigation memo on board conduct compiled by an outside law firm. The Commission asks about additional allegations provided anonymously to the Commission about actions of certain board members and have they received any more allegations of misconduct by Becky board members. If the answer is yes, the Commission wants details whether they've investigated, and if not, why not? The three-page letter also asks for minutes from all board meetings from 2021, 22, 23, and 24, along with policies and procedures that apply to the board members and employees, conflicts of interest, and purchasing and procurement activities, as well as budgeting, construction contracts, and change orders. The PSC also wants policies and procedures on resources like machine and wood shops operated by the co-op, payments for services, insufficient fund checks, and disconnection. And finally, the PSC wants a list of all employees, managers, and directors, plus salaries, benefits, or perks provided. The information is due within 30 days, though Becky may ask for an extension of time. The investigation audit is expected to take months before reaching a conclusion. Teresa Schmidt, 7 News. A spokesperson for Beauregard Electric says they will refrain from comment while the PSC investigates. To read a copy of the data request or see the investigation memo, visit kplctv.com. Today, Governor Jeff Landry signed legislation that criminalized